Good morning, guys. Jeff with HKS Systems Lock and Safe. Hope you're doing well. Um, we got a couple projects going on. I just bought an M1. I don't even know why I bought the M1. Literally, I could pick those in 30 seconds. Leashy. I don't know. I don't know why I bought it, to be honest with you. Just uh, bought it from Amazon. It was cheap. So um, I'm doing a uh, transmitter box, which is actually an interesting one. I'm going to do this on Friday. Uh, it's a transmitter for a uh, handicapped door opener push call button. Uh, the guy, uh, it's been in place for quite a while. We just redid the transmitter last year. He says it stopped working, which is very weird because those typically have about a 10 year life cycle on them. So, changed the battery, said it works fine, and then all of a sudden it stops. So, I, when I went there, um, yeah, it was sitting instead of on top of the tray at the bottom of it um, it was just sitting in the post well the post is made of metal so it basically turns it into a Faraday cage so it doesn't transmit he didn't believe me so I taped it on top of the plastic top pushed the button 20 times or probably about five times and uh, it worked every time took the tape off let it drop to the bottom of the tube push the button doesn't work so yeah it literally just blocks the RF frequency from um, transmitting out of there so we're going to go Friday put that in the top of the box uh, probably either epoxy it I'm thinking I'm going to epoxy it um, and then put the transmitter and battery pack in there it's nice and waterproof to begin with which is better than the plastic bag they were using and uh, that'll be Friday so I'll probably just make a video just a little small snippets here and there I'm still dealing with other shit in my life so um, today we're actually going to go uh, and adjust the door hinge on a gun safe, which is not too common. We have to do that, but um, the factory called us out to do that. So we're going to take some hex keys. I'm not sure if I could fit that in or not. That's just basically to take some uh, pressure off the door, lift it up a little bit, um, and then uh, adjust it with the hex keys, which is below the hinges. Here's the other model we're going to be using today to help lift the safe door is the uh, Skyjack uh, High Lift uh, Extreme. If you don't know these, these are basically what they call the farm jacks. Um, really good. And, and the best part is my neighbors love me for it because they'll. Uh, there's a million uses for those things. They're not cheap. They're probably like 200 bucks, but... Uh, you get so much use out of it. You can literally use that. And uh, in the Midwest, we get some good snowstorms, so we end up uh, breaking posts up and on, on fences, especially older fences. And they're flush with the ground, so you could get the post hole digger and dig out by hand, which sucks. Don't ever want to do that, trust me. Um, or you could take a big 12-inch bolt, screw it straight through, put a chain to it, use that skyjacker, and boom, that thing comes out just like... Uh, just so easy literally just like five pumps of that handle boom you're done so anyways we'll be back i'll see if i could get some footage in there it's a basement dark and dungy i was there last week uh factory sent me out to put in some clips for the shelves i did that didn't take care of the problem it's either a saggy door or the skin on the back has moved a little bit so either way we will take care of it and we will catch up with you later guys take care Browning Pro Steel safes. Hinges are adjusted. Perfectly smooth. One finger. Locked. Doors perfectly sealed. Again, one finger. Unlocked. Should be good to go. Thanks. All right, guys, Jeff with HKS Systems, lock and safe. So we got done with that uh, safe. Uh, we were there last week, and uh, it didn't uh, close at all, and I had to have them remove all the guns. I mean, I'm totally comfortable with the firearms, but they're not my firearms, so I didn't want to just leave them laying around. So he needed to get the whole skin on the back of the door. It was full of uh, handguns and ammo, so... He needed to remove all that stuff um, then all I did was come back adjust those hinges up you know just a little bit maybe 16th of an inch not even that maybe you know super fine amount of adjustment um, we repaired two clips in there and then uh, moved the stuff in the bottom it was literally had so much shit in the bottom it was hitting the 
the rifle racks inside. So uh, no big deal. Uh, in and out, half an hour, and half of that was just filming and bullshitting with the guy about firearms. So we'll be back. You need service for that gun safe stuff, give us a call. HKS Systems Lock and Safe, 847-204-7046. Thanks. All right, guys, so we're at that uh, excess system for the automatic door opener. This is what they had in there. We're going to take all this out and put a nice little box in there. So we'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you why uh, the uh, electrical interference from metal, basically my truck. Uh, so this is the transmitter. This is the front door over here, which is right below those uh, two lights there next to the metal. Uh, you can see... As I press that, it doesn't do anything. It's uh, transmitting, but it won't do anything over there. So once we take it outside of the truck and get clear of the door, you can see, boom. Um, so it's like uh, if you're into electronics, which I'm really not, but I know a little bit about a little bit, um, it's called the Faraday cage, which basically stops the RF or the radio frequencies from going through this the metal easily I guess so check that out if you're interested in electronics there's definitely good fields to be in um, even locksmiths you need to know a little bit about that but uh, yeah it was based on that they had this sitting in the bottom of that metal square tube over there and unfortunately at the bottom it was blocking everything so once you get it up top which we're going to be putting it in there should be good to go we'll be back thanks so here we go with your typical call switch for the uh, emergency doors uh, for uh, handicapped accessible, ADA compliant, um, two set screws. So all I did was um, rewire it, put a longer wire in there, put a weatherproof box in here, epoxy it. I know it's not very pretty, but you don't see that. And then all we're going to do, I just want that to set up just a little bit more, just a few more minutes. Uh, 10 minute working epoxy it's been definitely the 10 minutes I just want to make sure before I put it in um, then yeah all I got to do is flip it on there you'll never see that box and it'll be good to go we'll be right back I'll give you the functional test in two minutes okay guys so we put the uh, electronic uh, box in the back of it weatherproof a rubber gasket waterproof a uh, little bit of insulation in there as well which helps for the battery and electronics and if everything goes well, we should be able to hit that in the center, and it should pop that door open. And I think we got a winner. So, yeah, it was just that easy. Um, the electronics was way down in this section down here, hanging from the wires. And once again, metal box stops the flow. Even though it's aluminum, there is still a little bit of extra metal in there that stops it. Um, so we just put it up top and plastic allows it to transmit much better so should be good to go give it all right so we switched out the electronic box to the top instead of a plastic paper bag we put uh, actual weatherproofing in there uh, rubber gasket resealed it should be good to go now one of those days guys just got a call need an atm open really quick i don't know much about it sort of fishy but i'll go over there and check it out you know what i'm taking the old phoenix so we'll see if we can open it i'll take a picture of a uh the safe and stuff it's not much of the atm it's a crappy one but either way i'll open it up i'll fix it no matter what it cost them so we'll be back take care guys hey jeff with hks systems lock and safe just uh, up against the atm today no big deal um yeah, low quality. This is a Gen Mega brand. Uh, it's a five digit wafer to keep the door shut. And the weird part on these is you would think that's broken. It's not actually broken, that's the way they're designed. And uh, what I did was use the Phoenix system, uh, bypass that. Not really gonna go into that, just let's just say I know what I'm doing. You can see that handle turns a little bit further. There's the Gen Mega inside. I'm not going to get too specific into that, but uh, that's good to go. Put a new battery in, and they're all up and locked and loaded. They're uh, moving, I guess, rebuilding this building, and they're moving this ATM, which is bolted in. 
they need to unbolt it to get it across town. So anyways, ATMs, yeah, we do that. Give Jeff a call. HKS Systems Lock and Safe, 847-204-7046. Thanks, guys. Take care.